Stephanie Smith here, Regional Agronomy Manager for 360 Yield Center, and I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about the drought of 16. Here in southern Michigan, we're about four to five inches behind our normal precipitation. So what does that mean for our corn crop? First and foremost, when we think about nitrogen, we think about sulfur. Okay, these are two nutrients that will leach. Okay, it leaches with water. That will not be an issue at this point in time. I pulled soil samples on this field a few days ago, and I found that I had about 20 more pounds of nitrogen than what I had planned on. The reason is, crop use is really low. You know, this corn plant here at V5 has really only used about 10% of its total end needs from the year. And to be honest, we haven't lost it to the environment. It's extremely dry. Digging down here with my spade, I can find soil moisture at about a five inches deep. So what does this mean physiologically for this corn plant? Well, this corn plant has sent stresses and really developed a deep root system. In comparison to last year, where we had above average rainfall, that root system developed shallow. Here, already at V5, we have a well-established root system being able to mine that soil for all water and nutrients that it may come in contact with. When we think about these dry soils, we got to think about, especially in the clays, uh, the two to one clays collapsing on each other and preventing this plant to bring up potassium. Okay, this can be good, this can be bad, right? So at this point in time in this corn plant, potassium use is pretty low. When we get closer to V8, V10, rapid growth in this corn plant, we're going to want some soil moisture, not only from potassium to be released from those clays, but obviously also for nitrogen and sulfur. So I know there's a lot of folks out there getting down in the mouth about this corn crop. And don't get me wrong, we need a rain here. But when we think about this root system, you know, for the conditions we've had, after planting, it's been dry. These roots have been forced to establish itself, to develop that full root system. So to be able to weather the storm with low moisture situations, I feel real comfortable with this root system we currently have developed here in Southern Michigan.